this we are going to solve some prior questions from probabilities. And these are the two questions we have to solve. The first one is the probability that two boys pass an examination are 2 over 3 and 5 over 8. Find the probability that I, two boys, pass the examination. I, I, only one of the boys passes the examination. Question 2. A bar contains 12 balls of which X are red. 118 more red balls are added. The probability of selecting a red ball is 9 over 10. So let's start with question number 1. The probability that two boys pass an examination are 2 over 3 and 5 over 8. So in this case, we don't know whether 2 over 3 is the, is the first boy or 2 over 3 is the second boy or 5 over 8 is the first boy or the second boy. So we are going to let 2 over 8 to be the first boy that pass the examination and 5 by 8 in the second border part of the And also, we are going to assign variables to the event. So we are going to let A represent the first boy that pass, passes the exams. And we are going to let B represent the second boy that passes the exams. So in this case, P probability of A is equal to 2 over 3. And probability of B is equal to 5 over 8. Knowing this, we can find the probability that the students fail the exams, the two boys fail the exams. So we can find that one by subtracting the numerous fractions from the total probability, which is 1. So, probability that the first boy fail the exam is equal to total probability minus the fraction 2 over 3. If you are going to get 1 minus 2 over 3, you are going to get 1 over 3. And the probability that a second boy fill the exam, B complement is equal to 1 minus 5 over 8. If you are going to get 3 over 8. So let's move on to the question. I, two boys pass the examination. So if two boys pass the examination, the probability that two boys pass the examination is equal to probability that the first boy pass two over three, and the probability that the second boy also pass five. Over eight. So two goes into itself once and go to eight four times. One times five is going to be last five. Over three times four is twelve. So this is the probability that two boys pass the exam. I I only one of the boys passes the exam. So in this case, you don't know whether. The first boy pass, or the second boy field, or the, the second boy pass, and then the first boy field. So, in this case, I am going to present it. So, I, I, probability that only one boy pass the exam is equal to. So it could be that the first one will pass 2 over 3 and the second one will fail. 
which is 3 over 8 times 3 over 8 or the second one will pass which is 5 over 8 and the first one will fill which is 1 over 3 so this side I'm going to present it you don't know the one that fills so this side is going to be so 2 goes to itself once and go here 4 times 3 goes to itself once and go here once so I'm going to get 1 over 4 plus um, 5 over 8 times 3 is 24 so with this one I'm going to find LCM 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 here is 24 so 4 goes into 24 6 times 6 times 1 is 6 plus 24 goes into itself once, 1 times 5 is 5. So we are going to get 11 over 24. That is the answer for II. So let's move on to question number 2. Question number two. The question is A bag contains 12 balls of which X are red. When 18 more red balls are added, the probability of selecting a red ball is 9 over 10. So let's read the question again. A bag contains 12 balls. So that means the total number of balls in the bag is 12. Total number of balls of balls in the bag equals twelve. Of which X are red. So number of red balls, number of red balls. In the bag equals x. So when when 18 more red balls are added, so when 18 more red balls are added, what does it mean over here? It means that when we add 18 to it, the total number of balls in the bag will increase. So when we add 18 to it, we are going to get 12 plus 18 because we've added 18 to the 12. So which we are going to get 30. And then the balls that were added was red balls, meaning there's going to be an increment in X plus 18. When 18 more red balls are added, the probability of selecting a red ball is 9 over 10. So probability of selecting a red ball, probability of selecting a red ball equals 9 over 10. And how do we find the probability of selecting a red ball over here? The probability of selecting a red ball is simply the number of red balls, which is x plus 18, over the total number of balls in the back, which is 30, equals 9 over 10. Now, we do cross multiplication, so we are going to get 10 into s plus 18 is equal to 30 times 9. So 10 goes into this bracket, so I'm going to get 10x plus 18 is equal to 30 times 9 is 270. So let's make L the subject. We'll transpose this to the other side. So when we do that, we are going to get 
10 x is equal to 270 minus 180 10 x is equal to 270 minus 180 you are going to get 90 then we divide both sides by 10 10 to get x so let's cancel out this I'm going to get x to be equal to 9 so this means that the original red balls that were in the bag before the 18 red balls were added is 9 that is all for question number 2 thank you for watching